in this video I am going to be talking about the radio button control uh, I am sure you must have seen uh, radio button controls which is unlike the checkbox control uh, because uh, checkbox control allows multiple items to be selected from a group of checkboxes whereas the radio button control is used to allow user to make only one selection from multiple choices only one radio button in a group is allowed to be checked at any time. Radio button control requires uh, to be in a group. So all the radio button control they require to be in a group. So if you have three uh, radio buttons uh, which performs, which are supposed to be grouped together, you have to give them a group name. So you must always provide a group name property, which I'm going to show you. Other properties uh, supported by the radio button controls uh, the po auto post back which we have talked about so many times the checked which i talked about in my previous video the text align which i also show you how to use in my previous video the group name which you haven't talked about and uh i don't know why i actually repeated that so um the default event is the checked change event which is uh, exactly what we talked about in the previous video for the checkbox control and this uh, radio button control also support the focus method which allow you to uh, set the focus I, uh, read the, the button radio button control in the group so now let's go to the uh, visual web developer now to um, see how it works so I've taken a time out so that I will not be sure, you know spending too much time in my video to actually drag and drop three radio buttons and how you do that is you go to the our radio button and you just drag it to the uh, you know page so that's how I do it so uh, once you uh, drag the first one you go to the text and you put Apple I mean you put any name that you want to for example if I change say my favorite fruit so I mean you must know how to use uh, text as you can see now the text has been changed so this is how you change the text on the radio button so I just want to show you and uh, you do the same thing for oranges and you do the same thing for mangoes so what I want to do is I want the user to select the favorite fruit and um, whatever they select when they press the button it's going to also be uh, written in the label here which will say oh you have selected set this type of fruit uh, well, I put here that you should always remember to add a group name because if you do not have the group name, it's going to be um, give you a funny result. For example, uh, I'm not sure I'd, I have actually added a group name here, so that means I will only be allowed to select. So let's do something just to show you because I like to show everything. So if I remove the group name for that, I remove the group name for this as well, and uh, I remove the group name for the third one sometimes right let's just make it easy okay so I removed the group name for the last so if I should run the website now what will happen is it's going to um, behave just like uh, checkboxes because will allow me to select as you can see it allows me to select multiple item so this is not the uh, behaviors that we want from uh, radio buttons so that's why we have to set the group name so set the group name for the apple for mangoes group name let's do that and lastly for oranges let's let's set the group name okay so now that we've set the group name i can also show you the reactions now the behaviors sorry as you can see now once you set the group name only one item will be allowed to be selected so I can only select each one item at a time so um, once I set the radio button that I want so once I set the uh, radio buttons then and I've set the group name which is very important so what I want to do now is um, I want to uh, be able to display the fruit that I have chosen uh, by clicking on this uh, button so that means uh, we have to use the button click event so I've typed the name uh, the text on the button and I also you know set the button to fruit 
button so if we go to the source code let's do let's uh, select our fruit button and uh, we want the click event so the click event so that means every time we click the button what we want to happen anyway so it's very easy to also write the c-sharp codes as well so let me explain it what i say is if the the apple radio button is checked i want the the label text on the label to be you have selected uh wherever the text of the uh radio button is so and i've done the same thing for oranges so if we check the the orange checkbox uh, radio button if you check that then that means the label will, will display you have selected uh, or, uh, radio button text that belongs to the orange so that is uh, how you do it so if I should run this website now you will see that uh, it's actually very easy so if you select mango and you select the button you can say you have selected mango so let's do the same thing for apples you can say you have selected apples and uh, for oranges you have selected oranges so this is how you do it and uh, just like I explained in the previous video you can also use the auto post back event so you do not need to uh, use the button so if you remove the button altogether and you can just uh, use set the auto post back to be true for each of the uh, radio buttons so that whenever you check it it will be automatically posted back to the server so um, let's go back to uh, another way to select a, a property so if you want to select if you want to select uh, a control if you can select it from the source code as well so just by clicking on the name as you can see you now select the rb mangoes from us here so just want to see look around and see if i need to explain anything I think everything has been explained for the uh, radio button. So this is how you use it. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.